All right, the federal government announcing more money today to help Hamilton fight the housing crisis, but they say it's going to take years to get homes built, more than 10 years for one program. But Hamilton and the rest of the country have the example of how Canada tackled a major housing crisis once before, and the mayor says it may be worth looking at again. Al Sweeney has that story. Some of the streets in areas like Hamilton's East Mountain are lined with these bungalows and one and a half story houses with their iconic steep roofs. They were the answer to a housing crisis around 80 years ago, and they're still doing the job. They're cute and small and cozy, nice for our family. It's great, yeah, love it, neighborhood's great, the house is great. During the Second World War, there was a shortage of housing for workers in the war industry and a flood of returning soldiers needing somewhere to live. So the federal government's wartime housing corporation launched a home building program. Built in the 1940s, 50s and early 1960s, they were known as victory houses or strawberry box houses because they look like fruit crates. You can still see these houses standing in cities across Canada. They were what people needed at the time, modest and affordable. Architects suggest it's time to revive this kind of idea for governments struggling to build housing. We need fundamental changes to how we build homes in this country. Federal Minister Philomena Tassi announced $93 million today to help Hamilton speed up home construction. But she says these programs take time, like the government's $4 billion housing accelerator fund. And it goes to 2030, uh, with homes being built by 2035. And people need houses now. I think that uh, there should be no stone left unturned. Uh, we have a crisis. The mayor says governments need new programs to get housing built, and the old wartime idea may be a good one. I think every solution needs to be on the table because uh, we are facing a crisis uh, like we haven't faced in, in decades. These victory houses are modest and not too large, but they're homes. Very nice inside and, like I said, roomy enough for a small family. We love it. We don't want to move and we hope to stay in this for a long time. Al Sweeney, CHCH News.